Okay, guys, we are going to do some vocabulary work today. So I am in our Starlight book. I'm on page 91 and I'm looking at section C. So if you have your book open and you can follow along while I go through it. So you will need a dictionary for this. So I know we left our dictionaries in school, but I will post a link to an online dictionary to help you. Or you could just put online dictionary into Google yourselves, or you might have your own dictionary at home that you can use. So we've done this before, so you know exactly how it works. Choose the word or phrase that is nearest in meaning to the underlined word or phrase. So it might not mean the exact same thing, but the one that's closest to the meaning. So when you are doing this into your copy, it's fine to just write the word. That's the answer. You don't need to write the whole sentence. So the first one, a big log was burning brightly in the grate. So we're looking at the word grate. Would grate be closest in meaning to garden, room, bonfire or fireplace? So if you're not sure what grate means, you'll have to look that up in the dictionary. And again, just write down the word you think it's closest in meaning to. My brother bellows when he doesn't get his way. So all of those answers there, sulk, weeps, shouts and complains that they'd all make sense. But which one of those words is closest to bellows. So don't just guess if you're not sure you need to look it up in the dictionary. Question three, in high winds, trampolines can bowl over. So which of those words would be closest to bowl? Number four, I heard someone pounding at the door. So pounding, would that be closest to tapping, hammering, pushing or opening? Number five, my toboggan went off its course and hit a tree. Now off its course, if you're not sure about that, it's you're going to have to just look up maybe course in the dictionary because obviously that's three words, but you should be able to figure it out. Does it mean the wrong way, right, left or sideways? Number six, the puppy went scampering across the field. So scampering, would that be closest to pounding, walking, plodding or scurrying? So again, don't just guess now. If you're not sure, use the dictionary to help you. And you can look at the star question if you want. Think of two more words that have a similar meaning to pounding. So you should know what pounding means when you look it up for question four. But what it's asking you to do is think of two more words that have a similar meaning. So it might not be the exact same, but any other words that would be similar to pounding. So into your English copy, your heading can be vocabulary and you can just write the word. Any questions, just ask.